the topic of the lotus flower has come up recently and and the real question is what is the meaning of the lotus flower in art well th this is kind of a, of um, in some ways too specific a question uh, the topic needs to be made more general before we can go in and talk about the lotus flower specifically the the overall topic is flowers and how are flowers used and how are they represented in art now we do have certain well-known um, well-known subjects to do with the lotus specifically and and that of course is the eight auspicious symbols where one of the symbols is the lotus flower and it represents purity etc um, but then we also have lotus mandalas we have a specific type of of uh, artistic sculptural mandala uh, made of metal uh, where they're three-dimensionally show the opening of a, of a flower or a lotus and inside are is an arrangement of deities that's a lotus mandala we also have the eight offerings and uh, within the eight offerings one of the offerings is flowers and then we have the eight offering goddesses, which um, can appear as uh, sometimes as sculpture, but more uh, often as paintings or murals in in certain temples. And and it's um, eight eight goddesses. It can be more. It can be ten or it can be sixteen. It depends on the tantric cycle. But um, just a beautiful offering goddess uh, holding flowers or holding a lotus in her hand. Okay, those are the sort of the general um, situations we know of for flowers, um, wh which come as sets, the eight auspicious symbols, the, the eight offerings, eight offering goddesses, etc. But the, the actual subject here in the study is actually flowers. And, and for that, we, we have uh, eight topics that are important, and we're not going to go into any detail. Uh, but the eight topics are, are first, the, th the first one is the three types of explanation. And meaning is, well, what are, how do we explain uh, flowers in Himalayan art? Well, first of all, we explain it textually. Textually has more to do with religious context and iconography. Second is oral, and the third is artistic. These are the three types of explanation. The second uh, study topic is, what are the types of flowers? The third is what are the colors of flowers? The fourth is what are the shapes of flowers? Are they are they a single um, a lotus with with the petals uh, uh, moving or, or growing upward, or is are they growing downward, or is it a double lotus that we see on on sculpture? Uh, does a lotus have a stem, or does a flower have a stem? Does the flower have buds? Do the buds have meaning? Um, so that's shape. Shape can be a little complicated. Then we have medium. So medium is fairly um, self-explanatory sculpture and painting. But then we have uses. Uses really, um, a lot of the uses relate to uh, uh, iconography. So uses, it can be it can be the seat underneath a deity or a historic uh, teacher. It can be a hand attribute, a decoration. It can be part of jewelry, landscape. Uh, it can be an actual object in a narrative coming out of one of the Buddha's life stories or previous life stories. Um, and it can also be a dynamic object of visualization that can be uh, portrayed in a painting. Um, and then lastly, number eight is uh, size. So large, medium, hand attribute, and small. So size works very closely with uses the uses of the flower. So I'm going to leave it at that and we'll talk about this more later. So press the like button, you can subscribe and you can also help uh, to uh, continue the work we do by joining Har on Patreon.